People in cults are generally asked to hide their true thoughts and feelings. Do you ask this of your members? Definitely not. I ask that any person who I interact with, and by the way, there is no members, so I must clarify that first. There is no membership of anything. We don't have any members, we don't have any followers, we don't have any group, we don't have any organised thing whatsoever. All Mary and I do is organise seminars, workshops, different, different events that we share information with people. That's all we do. Now, at, at these particular events, we share lots and lots of different information and a lot of this information is sometimes information that we love to share with people and sometimes it's information that people have questioned us upon. That is the primary source of the information. What we do encourage at each event is that people are openly honest and truthful with us about everything they think and feel. That's what we strongly encourage. We actually strongly encourage everybody to do that with each other as well as us. We feel that this is the only way to become real, the only way to become actually connected with yourself is to honour your own viewpoints, opinions and honour your own feelings. And to do this you must state what you feel in every situation and state what you think. I am perfectly content to have a person state to me, I think you're an idiot AJ. I'm okay with that. I'll go, okay, that's your opinion and you're entitled to your opinion. I'm not okay with them condescendingly treating me because they think I'm an idiot because that is an act of love or a lack of love and I'm, I, I'm, I feel that I'm worth just as much as they are in order to be treated lovingly. But I'm perfectly happy for people to state their opinion and in fact I desire people to state their opinions more and more. I want people to be open with their opinion because if they were more open with their opinions they'd understand more about what they believe, they'd understand more about why they feel what they think, why they feel what they feel emotionally and why they feel their feelings support their thinking, their belief systems. They would understand their logical and illogical reasoning systems if they stated what they thought more and if they stated what they felt more. So we strongly encourage people to state what they feel and what they think. And there is evidence of that all the way through the presentations that we have recorded. 